we're going to do today is we're going to remove this engine. We might get some other stuff off this car. Maybe this radiator. It looks brand new. It's got the fan on it. I like it. It looks nice and good. This fuse box looks nice and stock. We're going to use that. We're gonna use the little main fuse box over there. We might use the AC system, so I'm gonna remove that. Uh, it works great, uh, no problems with that. Anyway, I was here yesterday and I drained out the coolant, the engine oil, and the transmission oil. So that's all done. The AC is empty. So all we gotta do is start bolting this thing out. I also wanna kind of point out that I have never removed a 960 engine before. This is the first time. I do not have a manual yet. I have ordered one. I'm just gonna do it like I always do. I'm just gonna figure it out. So I'm gonna start with hoses. I'm gonna get rid of all the hoses that are in the way. Some we're gonna use, some we're not. And let's just get going, because we have a lot to do today. Let's start with that one. There we go. That thing was held on there tight. Then we just continue on. It is really difficult to get a good shot of everything. Like for this example, have this hose in the way. Let me get the lower radiator hose. about it for this side okay so I just removed the AC pipe here and I'm just gonna shove a piece of paper in here just to keep it a little bit safer you don't want dirt in there we're also gonna plug up the, uh, the AC filter here with some paper Paper is probably not the best, but now we move on to this side. On this side, we have a lot more to remove, but I'm gonna start with the cooling fan. I hope you guys can see that. Yes, you can. And we're gonna take it off from the engine here. And we'll just keep the hoses and everything on here on the radiator. I always like to tighten these up again so you know where they are. They don't go running away from you. There you go, that's one hose off. Now we only have the connection for the, for the fans, which unfortunately is behind the battery. So we gotta remove the battery first. Underneath the battery, we have the relay for the cooling fans. It's a two speed, and we're gonna remove this part right here, which goes to the fan, just like so. And it's grounded into the chassis by a 10 millimeter bolt. So we're just gonna undo that. There we go. Now the fan is ready to come out. Just take a 10 millimeter. There's two 10 millimeter nuts holding this thing on. Just remove that one. Remove this one. Pop these off. And now we can get the cooler out. There's one more here to the expansion tank. This is the hose that goes to the expansion tank, which is right here. So we wanna take this off. There you go. Now we should be able to lift this up. It's free on that end, free on this end. some water in there. And 
when I get coolant all over the floor. Okay, so next thing. I kind of feel like I want access to this side now. So I'm gonna start removing stuff here. I kind of feel like all this is in the way, so let's just remove this uh, airflow meter. And the airflow meter is just held in with a seven millimeter screw as usual. Oh. Screw this on here. I just remembered we have one more thing to drain and that is the servo. So let's just suck the oil out. I gotta get the compressor going. Okay, so that's drained. Uh, that does not mean we're gonna, we're not gonna get oil when we take this out. What I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a bucket underneath. We're gonna take these two connections off, put these hoses into the bucket, and then we're just gonna turn the wheels to make sure we get everything out because I do not want that on the floor. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do this as smoothly as I can. I will probably fail. It looks like I got most of the oil out. Okay, that's one hose. Let's get this other one off. Okay, so there we have the two hoses. One is in the bucket and one is slightly above it. We're just gonna turn the wheels. And make sure we get all that oil out. Yeah, let's get the AC pipes off because they're gonna need to go anyway. It's very hard to film here, but we do have a 10 and a 12. Okay, so in order to get these AC lines off, you have one connection here, one connection inside here, and they go along the front member here, or whatever you call it. So they run out from the AC pump here and go under here. One goes up top here, up to the filter. And another one goes down here, goes under the frame, does a hard turn and goes and go into the evaporator. Let's go to the other side. Okay, so it turns out I can't film this. It is just way too tight. Anyway, you can see the pipes coming here, and then they go underneath the frame, do a turn, and go into the, the radiator right there. So we're gonna remove these two first. They're sitting with a hex, probably a six millimeter hex in the middle there. Remove that, remove the clamp, and then you can pull the pipes out. And we'll also have one fitting up here, which is like a 10 millimeter. Uh, screw. Get that out. Now we're just going to continue removing these pressure pipes from the AC. And it is just too tight to film in here. Okay, make sure you don't get crap into the compressor. Just put a little bit of paper in there. It's always better than nothing. I know it's not optimal, but hey, what are you gonna do? There we go. AC pipes off. Okay, so 
other things we need to remove before we can take this engine out. This is obviously fuel. We need to remove the cabin heater hoses. We need to remove some throttle wires, some vacuum lines, and of course, all the electronic stuff. I don't know where it's easiest to, uh, I think it's best to just try to get as much as possible. Just put it on the engine and pull it out. Like the whole fuse box, everything. Yeah, there's a big connector here, I guess. You could just get it from there. Yeah, let's see what this t where this takes us. Yep, that's a big ass connector. That's good. I like that. That makes it a lot easier. go nice there's an engine heater right here and it looks brand new and it's like a universal thing so you can put it on any car you want and that can actually be our next step uh, removing the, the engine from the heater core so these are located way back here on the firewall okay so I just pulled this off Kind of a universal engine preheater. Anyway, this is uh, really nice because you can use this on uh, the 740. So why not just keep this? Okay, so now we're gonna remove some wires and some vacuum hoses. Let's start with that one, which goes to the cruise control. And now we can take this one and it's a T25 Torx. Okay, so it's just held in place with this bracket right here. Remove that bracket. Pull this out. And just disconnect the wire. There you go. We're gonna move on down now and uh, continue under the car. Let's see how this works. It's very dark down here. All right, so now we're under the car and we're gonna start by removing these wires that used to go to the um, oxygen sensors. They're just cut off right here, both of them. Uh, this one and this one. So uh, yeah, we'll just cut those off because we won't be needing them. And then we'll continue on because that beam needs to go. And uh, yeah, we'll just take it from there. Next thing I'm going to do is remove the shifter, which is right up here. It's held in by four bolts, but they are from the inside, so I'm going to have to hop inside and get those out.
And there you go. Now the shifter is loose. Let's go ahead and pop that down. Now that's not going to be in the way. Uh, so now what we need to do is um, move. Like I said, <laughs> what we need to do now is remove this cross member right here. Right here. So we're going to get that one off. Okay, so now we're going to remove the uh, slave for the clutch. It's held in by a locking ring, and usually they are quite stubborn, but we'll see what happens. Maybe this one is nice to me. Well, that actually went pretty smooth. Just be careful when you're doing that because the, the um, if the boot lets go, the piston uh, will just pop right out and you'll have uh, brake fluid everywhere. So just be careful about that. Ideally, you would have to <laughs> unscrew it, you know, properly. But it, since it was so rusty, I knew I was just going to break it. So I didn't want to do that. Anyway, now it's time to uh, get this engine out. No worries. We'll see how this goes. This could be fun. I wouldn't recommend whatever I did right here. Don't do that. Try to get like a proper engine jig thing. This is stupid. So uh, don't do this. But this is all I got and I gotta get this engine out today so I'm just gonna go for it. The engine mounts are dropped. The gearbox is loose. All the wires are disconnected. Oh yeah. I forgot some wires. The fuel. Crap. Okay, I've had enough about that one. I'm just gonna cut it. Well, we got it out. Uh, that was crazy. I uh, that was a bit too crazy, actually. Please, please, don't do what I do in certain situations. I mean, that was that was unsafe. You know, don't do that. Anyway, now the engine's out, and that is awesome. Well, I think that's all we got for today. Uh, I have some other things I need to attend to. But I think that's pretty good for one day's work. We got the engine out. Next thing, get the gearbox off. We gotta clean the gearbox. We're gonna clean the engine, maybe get some paint on there. Um, yeah, we have a lot of things to do. Don't forget, if you like this series, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe. And if you liked it, please hit the like button. See you next time. Our new dog. Hey. Hey. <laughs>